Uh, so my name is Jan Jorgensen, and I'm here at the Be the Light Meditations Weekly, and it's all about um, finding our place, our place in community. So we just spent 17 minutes introducing ourselves and getting to know the people that actually showed up for the Zoom community. So if you're watching this in the future, guess what? You can access the energy of this sacred circle we just said. Take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth. And feel that on this call, it's like a bowl holding the container of projective energy for safe, beautiful environments for the world and ourselves to live in harmony together. We talked about relationships. We talked about moving to more beneficial, positive places. We talked about working with our property to clear the noxious, wayward energies of the way that the man has worked with land before. So on this call, there are light workers here who are doing tremendous tremendous, tremendous work to remediate what has happened on earth and the physical plane and to allow for an infusion of higher energies to come through us to, through our eyes, project out some different outcomes. Now, it's interesting I said eyes because this last week after I resisted it for a long time, my left eye, my feminine eye, this is modern technology. They actually took out my lens, which was cloudy from age, and put in a new lens. So I'm singing that song. I can see clearly now. The fog is gone. And isn't this a metaphor for our times? To see clearly our actions to see clearly the thoughts that propagate the same choices over and over again that are at odds with the prenatal contract that you and God and your higher self were going to bring. So when we did our community check-in, I was hearing people committing to the next step, to aligning with their platform, their golden purpose, to live with purpose, on purpose, in choice, with clarity, in pure environments. So that's, that, that's why I do these meditations, to assist and support that. And we just cross-pollinated and got ideas from each other. This is how small groups of committed people, and oh, I'll think of her name in that uh, minute, Margaret Mead said, hopefully, and you can tell me if it's wrong later, uh, said that it will be small groups of committed people moving the envelope forward for the potential for humans to remain the right to live here on this blessed earth. So those of you know, I developed these cards. Don't worry, they're not even out yet. I'm not marketing, but they will be out. Uh, and they're called be the light divine alchemy cards it's kind of everything i've put together with my whole life and here it is and this is the card this is the card that when i painted this she is miss music and she receives new thoughts and harmonies from source and she is taking it in with her eyes wide open and her heart is playing the music of heaven on earth which earthlings have longed for the sense of peace the sense of grace the sense of correct rightness i mean everything has been so unright so wrong for so long the minute we were born it's like what kind of music is this even our parents voices were mitigated by fear mutated so the card that i chose today was relationship our relationship to earth, our relationship to ourselves, our relationships to other humans witnessing 
what they are saying they are seeking to do and loving and supporting them. So this card is about your place in the universe. <clears throat> Go ahead and shut your eyes because we're actually beginning the meditation. Take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth. I embrace my universal citizenship and understand my role on earth now, as part of a transition team, I sense the alive aspects of my consciousness residing in heaven and know that my body and soul and all that I am is part of a great grid of a wondrous divine plan orchestrated by the creator and intelligent beings. So our affirmation is this, and I'm going to say it, I think you're all muted, but go ahead and say it in your head after I say it. I am free of my past. I am free of my past and ready to embrace and ready to embrace and live in the spacious and live in the spacious limitless now limitless now and it is all here in this nowness and our ego has taught us the scariest thing is to let go in the in the now it's almost like they show that you're going to be on a trapeze rope and and your thoughts can't catch you it can't save you and you're going to fall when you let go of that thinking that you need to hold on so tight, that's when you fly. Well, your friends might catch you. Your friends are the trampoline. Until you learn to be free, to be absolutely free in the moment. This is what the birds teach us by metaphor. They are happy when they are free. When they are working with the winds of nature, letting it help them soar, when the birds are in the V formation using the aerodynamics to assist each other to move, and then the head when gets tired goes to the back, someone else, we can learn how to be free by studying birds. Well, birds are actually beings that mirror and reflect the angelic realm. There's nothing wrong with angels full of love, sensitivity, kindness, compassion, forgiveness. If you're listening to this call, you have spades, you have so much of those vibrational gifts occurring in your life all the time. You've had to forgive atrocious things because you see it for what it is human foibles the drama of life so we're going to drop into a meditation and we're going to try on what does it feel like to be that eagle above it all the eagle is the perfect metaphor of the spiritualizing of matter rising above with crystal clear vision distance and far an eagle can see a mouse in a field scrambling i don't know from how many feet but i'm sure it's probably at least a thousand feet i'll have to look that up i'll ask my ai chatbot so take a breath and think about the times that many times a spiritual being who has passed over has come in the form of a bird. And I have lots of stories about that, but we're going to skip over the stories because I'm sure you have stories. But let's just move into this idea of soaring, lifting, lift off, weightlessness, non-attachment, non-duality, 
all of this are feathered friends. Think about it. Angels have wings. Angels fly. In my dream, so often I am flying. And often, when you are flying and go, going above it all, others, they can't see it. It's not at their eye level. They don't have eyes to see. So if you say things that you see as an angel, they don't have ears to hear, but that's okay. You're here to be a mentor, a messenger, and a live demonstration that humans can be lighter, that humans can be the light. Angels reside in between heaven and earth. Actually, think about it. They actually come when we ask them to be present. There is a ladder from ourselves to the angelic realm, and it's all vibrationally informed. And there are different levels of vibration of angels, angelic realms. There's archangels. There's Metatron, the big, the big uh, administrator angel, all the way up to golden solar angels that reside in the heart of the creator. These beings go to the universe and work with people and places and things that are out of kilter of divine alignment. So angels are worth understanding and studying because it is an easy gateway to work with the angelic realm for your heart to enlighten, to become enlightened, and to enter the gates of the vibration of source, the all that is. So take another deep breath through the nose and out through the mouth and stop thinking. Be like the bird, instinctual. Move into your heart. We ask and intend to set a sacred space and we use our creative imagination within our heart that we are a bird. There's an aspect of us that could always fly and we just forgot. So imagine in your heart is a perch. It's very stable. And go ahead and imagine that you are testing your wings, stretching them, and you are a mature bird. You're not the fledging little birdling on his first flight. Because you fly in your dreams every night. You fly with the flock. You know how to move through different interdimensional realms. Because that's active in your soul. So as you're on this perch, sharpen up your vision. We ask and intend that we will see clearly interdimensionally, almost as if we're having new fifth dimensional lenses put into our eyeballs. We can see clearly now, precisely like the eagle. But you choose which form a bird to be? Maybe the albatross. Do you know the albatross can fly for years without landing? Anyway, all birds are different. Maybe you're a hummingbird. But just feel into that you are this being that can lose its weight, lose its gravitas, and rise up. And in a moment, we will rise. But first, we must set an intention. We ask and intend to bring in our angelic counterparts and helpers to assist us for this trip. We're going to go on a trip and we're going to imagine we are a bird and we are ascending and we are allowing ourselves to see how safe and free we are without this monster of an ego mind always trying to keep us in the cage. 
So take a deep breath. And on the count of three, let me see if I have a musical instrument here. Is this done? Yes. Take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth. When you hear the chimes, you will spring off of your perch and your consciousness and energetic self will levitate. Feel the safety, grace, and beauty of lifting beyond the physical body. Your guides and the angelic beings are with you and flying. And you are flying higher, 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 and safely. And for a moment, you will circle around and look down at our beautiful earth. You will see the clouds, the water formations, the land formations, and you will bless that the earth can relax and heal and restore. But you are continuing, continuing your journey, so you are looking outward towards the galactic realm and you are noticing there is a grid and there are little portals in this grid called zero points and the angels are taking you easily and effortlessly through a beautiful zero point call it a black hole and you are now in an ecstatic weightless soundless state of zero point. In this beautiful luscious void, we ask and intend that we continue our journey to the outer realm of the central universe. We understand that source itself the regenerative, magnificent vibrational realm of all that is, is ours to experience in this state. So we continue moving safely through magnificent universal realms of color and stars, and yet it's so familiar. And our angelic friends assisting us, we are a flock of consciousnesses in different forms. It is formless for our souls and consciousness itself is making this journey merely using our creative imagination as a bird to give us the courage. So we are moving through many time and space continuums and realms and we are now coming into the core of all that is allow your eyes to see the brilliant infinite movement of fractalating colors and coming to a space of such stillness that there is a harmonic musicality that is beyond words. Take a deep breath and simply absorb the balanced effect of the chords the universal galactic movements of all that is, that is musical in its very core nature. 
that the music of the spheres tune up all that has been out of focus for you in understanding your limitless self. Let this music and these frequencies redesign all layers of your being now. And as this is occurring and will continue to repattern, you are simply taking a breath in your physical body back here at home and you are calling back your recalibrated beingness from source and with no worry that you're going to lose anything because you're bringing it back here, you allow this bird to circle back and to come back home here now. Your point of action, your point of presence, the eternal now. So you are coming out of the central universe through the galactic core, through the Milky Way, right down here into the Earth sphere and acknowledging beauty, the potential restoration of earth. And you are seeking, ah, there, exactly, there's your physical body waiting. And this bird comes into your body and rests its wings, relaxes after a journey of such profound embodiment of a new vibrational nature that assists your body to become even greater bridge to the new paradigm being created on earth. Feel in your heart the sense of spaciousness. All density is gone. It's not possible to even think a negative, fearful thought. It just doesn't fit. It doesn't get in. So as this energy percolates through our body, we think our an angelic guides, and we create a beautiful, golden, resilient egg around our body that will help us Continue to integrate this energy, move it through, get it into our tissues, get, let it exude out our pores, and let it continue to give us sharper vision with eyes to see. And the ability to go into the zero point, stillness of such quiet, you have ears to hear. Purity, still point. Excellent. Ah, good. So all of this is now paint by number, all falling into place, finding its home in the new configuration in your body. Golden resilient egg to protect it all. And we are finished with this meditation. Excellent timing. So go ahead and take a deep breath through your nose and out through your mouth and wiggle your fingers and toes. And I'm gonna stop the recording. And we'll come back here and just visit for a little bit. And thank you for joining today. I'm Jan Jorgensen at soundandlighthealingarts.com. We do these meditations every Wednesday morning at 9 a.m. on Zoom, and they're free. So no matter where you are in the world, you can come live or you can access it at the website, soundandlighthealingarts.com. I, I, I put them up there. I record this, and I put them up there. And don't worry, you're never seen. It's just me on the screen, so you're completely safe. 
in your home relaxing and you can just enjoy it anytime or live. Okay. See you next week.